Hello, I'm Paul Duncan, also known as Mr. Moderator. Today, I'm going to show you how to make someone a moderator on Facebook. But before we get into the details, you need to understand what abilities you will give someone when making them a Facebook moderator. You are giving them more power than just being able to delete a comment. They will also have the ability to moderate your Facebook group and be able to approve or deny membership requests and participant requests approve or deny posts in the group, remove posts and comments on posts, remove and ban people from the group, and pin or unpin a post. I'll be going in deeper into these options in a future video. So let's take a look at how to make someone a moderator. On Facebook, there are two options to make someone a moderator. To start, they must already be a member, so they've either asked to join the group and you've accepted, or you've sent them an invitation to join the group and they've accepted. From your main Facebook page, click on People, Members, or Friends, depending on how your Facebook page is set up. You will see a list of people in your group. Today, we're going to make Valerie our moderator. Over to the right of Valerie's name, you're going to see three dots. Once we click on those three dots, we'll get a pop-up list, and you have two options here. The first one is to select Add as Moderator, and we'll come back to the second option later. Once you click on Add as a Moderator, you'll get a confirmation that you're about to make Valerie a moderator. If you're sure, click Send Invite. If we go back to the list of members, we'll now see that Valerie has been invited to be a moderator, but she hasn't accepted yet. This section shows anyone that we've invited to be an admin or a moderator to our group that haven't accepted. It will not identify which way we've invited them, but only that we, they've been invited. The next time Valerie goes into her Facebook page, she will get a notice saying that she's been invited to be a moderator of the group. There will also be a link to learn more about being a group moderator. If she clicks on the Learn More link, she'll be taken to a page with more information on using the moderation tools, which I'll go into detail in a future video. I've also included a link in the descriptions below to the Learn More page. There's also an option for her to remove herself as an admin. Once Valerie accepts the invitation to become a moderator, the status on our side will change and it will show in our members list that she's now a moderator. The second option to make a moderator is to click on the three dots next to Valerie's name. Then select Manage Roles. From the following pop-up, click Add to the right of Moderator. You will get a confirmation pop-up. Once you confirm, they will get a notification that they've been invited to be a moderator. Once accepted, they'll appear in your Moderator Admin list as a moderator. If you want to remove someone as a moderator, you have the same two options. Click the three dots next to their name. From the pop-up, you can select either Manage Roles or Remove as Moderator. If you click on Remove Moderator, you'll get a confirmation window, click Confirm, and they are no longer a moderator. Or, if you click on the Manage Roles options, you'll see the option Remove to the right of Moderator. Click Remove. You'll get a pop-up confirming that you want to remove them. If yes, click Confirm. They are no longer a moderator. When you move someone as a moderator, they will not be notified of the change. I hope this was helpful to you, and as always, if you have any further questions or if there's something you'd like me to clarify, please list it in the comments below, and we'll cover it in one of the upcoming episodes or answer your question in the comments. Happy moderating!